The cardiovascular system includes five liters of blood, but more than eight liters of space for this blood. For this reason, the cardiovascular system must constantly decide where blood should be shunted. This is allowed because the arteries may possess smooth muscle in their tunica media. This is true of the muscular arteries. As this muscle constricts, it will limit blood flow to downstream areas. However, when the muscle dilates, more blood will go to downstream areas. During an emergency or during exercise, when the sympathetic division of the ANS is engaged, hormones such as epinephrine will help to redirect blood to where it is needed most, the muscles, to the heart, and perhaps to the skin if the body is overheating. Less blood is sent to the viscera, to the digestive system, the urinary system, the immune system, and the reproductive system. And so thus, during an emergency or under stress, uh, blood is preferentially directed to the muscles. At rest, the parasympathetic division limits the amount of blood which is sent to muscles. Instead, uh, maximal blood may be provided to the kidneys so they can produce urine, to the, to the digestive system so that food may be digested, to the immune and reproductive systems. And so unlike the sympathetic division in the fight or flight response, the parasympathetic division will provide maximal uh, blood to the systems which function at rest.